Hello everybody, and in this tutorial I'm going to explain to you inheritance in C++. So first of all, what is inheritance? Well, inheritance is a really useful concept. It basically means that you're using one base class, and then you derive a different class from it, which basically contains all of the data from the base class, but adds more specific things to it or change some things around. For instance, let's say you want to have a lot of different enemies, but they all have the same basic functions. Then what we can do is we can create a base class called, for instance, enemy base, and then make all of the other enemies inherit from it. So how do we declare inheritance in C++? Well, what we do is we type in class, the name of the child class that we want to create, so the class that's going to be inheriting from another class, the double dots, the public keyword, and then the name of the class we want to inherit from. I've created a uh, I've created this little example, so I've created my base class, so just simply class, base class, with a public constructor and destructor, and I've created another class called child class, with the double dots, then public, and then base class. So as you can see, we're literally just using base class here, since that's the name of the class. So now we can use whatever is inside of base class. But now we're going to go to code and I'm going to show you what I can do using the animal example of the previous episode. So here we have our main function. We've created our animal and we've called the make sound function. But let's say we want to make another animal which has a different name and a, and a different sound. Since right now uh, I've set name to animal and sound to no particular sound. So first of all we need to create a new class. How we do that is we go to the project, not the solution. It's really important that you go to the project. Right mouse button uh, and then class wizard. That will open up. Then we'll press add class. Uh, the class name, let's create a mouse. Uh, and then here in base class, we type in animal, since that's the name of our base class. Make sure that any capital letters are, uh, the letters are in the same size. so. Everything that's a capital letter needs to be capital letter. Everything that isn't needs to be a not capital letter. So base class is going to be animal. And then we create finish. Let's also, for instance, create a cat. So we have a mouse and a cat. As you can see, I just forgot to put in the base class. So one thing that we then can do is we can define it by ourselves. And we can just define it the same way that we did right here. So class, child class, double dots, public, the base class. So now we have our cat and it needs to inherit from animal. So then we use the double dots, public, and then the name of the base class, so animal. But as you can see right now, you have a squiggly line underneath animal. How can we like fix that? What we need to do is we need to include the file. So we need to include animal. And as you'll see right now, that will fix it. And when you create an uh, inherited class from the class wizard, it will automatically include animal for you. I'm just going to do a little formatting, so it will be a little bit nicer. So what we can do right now is we can go to the constructor of the mouse class, and in there we can change the name and the sound that the animal makes. But one thing that we need to make sure that the animal has, and that is that all the things that are nested to private, that we do want to change inside of uh, a child class, so for instance the mouse, that needs to be set to protected. That means that we still can't access it from outside of the class, but that all of the child classes can also modify it. So this needs to be changed from private to protected. So now when we go to the mouse at CPP, we can change the name to mouse and the sound to, let's say, peep. So now if you'd run the program again, but instead of using an animal, we use a mouse. The mouse just got animal. So if you now run it, as you will see, it will now say mouse peep. Even though in animal, the uh, .cpp we specified name is equal to animal and sound is equal to no particular sound. We modified it inside of the mouse constructor. Let's do it also for a cat. So the cat, the name will be cat, and the sound will be 
meow. So now what we can do is we can also include cat. Oh, the capital C. And also create a cat. Just a cat called cat. And then we can also call the cat a uh, make sound. And if you now run it, as you will see, we'll say mouse, peep, cat, meow. So basically what we're doing right now is we're calling a function from the animal class while using the variables that we changed inside of the constructors of the cat and the mouse class. That's what inheritance can do. It can make, uh, make it so you can easily modify values while still using the same functions that you were using with the base class. Thanks for watching, and in the next episode I'm going to explain to you virtual functions, so be prepared.